Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome back to another video here in Lebanon. And once again, we have another video coming out to you guys in Batron, my favorite city in Lebanon. So actually where I'm at, I figured I'd start out this video and show you where I'm staying. When I show you outside, you're going to be like, wow, this place looks very familiar. And I'll tell you why in just a moment. So oh, let's get this open. You can see here we have my favorite part of this place, which is the terrace, of course, because you get to hang out. You got mountain views on one side. You can actually see the sea right over there, the Mediterranean Sea on the other side. And we have patio furniture. That's the big upgrade from the other place I stayed at. There wasn't patio furniture, so you couldn't enjoy it. But uh, yeah, it is a two bedroom place that we're staying at. This is the first bedroom right here. And as you can see, it's nice and spacious. We've got one bed and two beds. So when some other people that you'll see in future videos are coming to Lebanon, they'll have a place to sleep. But I'm not gonna share with you now, but you'll see very soon. Then over here, we've got Habib tea. Hello. And uh, as you guys can see, it's a little dirty at our workstation here. It's because we got a couple laptops. We got the GoPro, we got Arabic lessons right there. And we've got all of our to-do lists. So it's not the cleanest setup at the moment, but I will tell you that's just proof we are working away. She's working on her singing career. And right behind, you can see she's got her mini studio set up right over there. But yeah, guys, it's a uh, very comfortable place here. Right when you walk in, you've got some uh, areas where I've now set up as my charging station. Once again, not super organized, but a good spot, a very comfortable couch. Habib T hooked it up with some fresh fruit right there to be uh, sitting there. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, baby. And then inside here, oh yeah, you already know Almaz's on deck. Keef Khan, Almaz's, you ready to be drank? Cause I know I'm ready to drink you. And over here we have the kitchen. So small little kitchen, gets everything done. We got the microwave, we've got the stove and a brand new washing machine. And then some more necessities back there in case we want to have a party. So it's, you know, everything we need. A little, uh, little cozy right there in the kitchen, but I like that, you know. We don't cook that often anyways, so it's nice to uh, just have a small kitchen and uh, make a few things here and there. And then coming over here, there was a couch here, but like I said, we moved it over for Habib T's uh, studio. And then in here, we've got the bathroom. Uh, nice shower there, western toilet. And oh, there's me. Hello, hello. How we doing? and uh then the main bedroom so this right here nice uh big full-size bed dresser there and we've got uh just some of our stuff there's not a enough room for all of our clothes because we kind of have a lot of stuff so we've used this other couch that was in the other room as our dresser but anyways it's too much information for you guys we are going to head out to the other balcony unlock that and here we go we've got other views of patron there so the nice part is, is uh, different times of the day, you can see the sunset and you have a more clear view of the sea from right there. And uh, you just get a bit more of nature from this side. You get a bit more of like privacy. And the nice part is when you're laying in this bed right here, you wake up and you guys can see I'm laying here. You wake up and you got views right out the window. It's a little overexposed, but you can imagine in the morning, you can just start to see the mountain lighting up. And yeah, it's caused me to wake up a little earlier in the morning. So it is pretty nice. But anyways, guys, in about three minutes, Fouad's gonna be here, so let's head on down and go see him. Bye, my love, she's staying here. Bye, baby. See you and the subscribers later. Here we go. Oh, we're locked in. She's keep. She's trying to keep us here, guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Guys, we gotta get out of here. She's gonna change her mind. Stay here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, time to get out of here. Bye. Shufik, ya hayete. Bye. Guys, we're in the elevator. Gotta get ready, because it is hot out. Probably shouldn't be wearing pants, but well, oh well. All right, now we gotta go find Fuad. These guys, we're walking past the uh, pool area. We gotta go for a swim in this video. I haven't, in any of the times I've been here and I've taken you guys through the apartment, we haven't gone for a swim, but we will soon. We've got Fuad and Lucy here. How we doing? Subaho, Kifkon. How's everything, guys? Yeah, What's good, up guys? good. What's up, guys? How we doing? All's good. Hop in here, bro. Yeah. yeah deal, hey. Yeah, uh, this Max car. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuad's, uh, Fuad's, uh, Bugatti. Oh. All right, guys, we are in the car and we are cruising down towards the Biblos area. We were gonna go to a spot in Batron, but uh, we decided that uh, we're gonna explore some other places. Since I'm staying in Batron for pretty much like, I'll have been in Batron almost six weeks, we're like, all right, we're gonna go adventure to some other cities now. Fuad's got the day off, it is a Tuesday, so uh, Mabruk, bro. Oh yeah, man, I woke up like a king today. I can tell, I called him at like 10.30 and he's like, I'm sleeping, bro. I was like, oh, Fuad, <laughs> I feel like a king. Man, I hate 7.30, wake up. I hate waking 
wake up at 7.30, man. That's the horrible. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, we have arrived to Biblos. The beautiful Biblos. Honestly, I love this place. Look at the weather. is so nice. Yeah, it's scorching. You guys got the uh, memo right. You're in the shorts. Yeah. Yep. I made a big mistake here wearing pants, but uh, that's all right. Happy to be back in Biblos. That's how you say a Lebanese mistake. Exactly. But look at this guy. Just walking right into Biblos. This is like my favorite part about this city is just like the uh, the feeling of going back like thousands of years into time. And it's mixed in with like the cute modern like shops that they have built into all of the areas in the souk so we're gonna find ourselves a restaurant around here and get some delicious food i'm starving i haven't actually even eaten yet today so I've got an appetite ready so fuad you got a place in mind for food bro first of all we gotta meet julius caesar here oh yeah he's hiding in these souks somewhere right yeah, and then we have a second meeting with alexander the great <laughs> and uh third meeting with the phoenicians you know we gotta make a truce oh yeah you know civilizations in war yeah yeah exactly yeah, so after the truce we'll drink wine with them all right now we're talking my language bro and have the big feast sire <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah yeah but man look at that place man oh it's Honestly. such a vibe walking into here i love it man. it's like walking through history uh, yeah i mean there's make just... sure you tie your horses here guys uh, yeah exactly <laughs> but if i'm not mistaken Biblos is the oldest city in the world yeah it's yeah, one yeah. of the yeah. oldest like, cities yeah. yeah one of the uh, oldest it's crazy that's where the alphabet was created by the phoenicians oh. down at the port yeah Actually, it's not, it's not just uh, ancient history. You can uh, trace it back also to the Crusaders and to the Mamluks also. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's rich in history, man. And look at this place is still thriving, guys. All of these restaurants right in the center here. Now we got to pick where we're going to eat, bro. Oh, yeah. What do you got in mind? I don't know. Let's go, let's go around. Well, let's, I went with the almost knocked the shisha. Really good restaurants, but it's a bit more down. Oh, all right. If you want to stay here, we can go you know, anywhere in Biblos is a vibe. I think, yeah. uh, let's say hello to our allies that we're gonna do some meetings with them and then we decide where's the feast. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yalla. Oh man, look at that alleyway. It's oh, beautiful. Yeah. And you guys think it's beautiful now, like in the evenings, sunset going into, even after sunsets, like all of these like uh, alleyways are just lit up and it's probably the most romantic place you can take someone. If you're looking for a date or if you're just looking to go out with your friends, it's also a great spot like this whole area like has loud music going on like pretty much every night of the week and so it's such a vibe yeah. oh we lost lucy <laughs> yeah oh. and uh, you know cold play song yeah cold, uh... Uh, which one that's the question oh my god how did i forget this i was playing it i was playing it in my car it's such an old song mm -hmm. i hear jerusalem bells are ringing oh wow that's Lake good Calvary. Sing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh yeah, that's a great I one. I don't know if I nailed the lyrics. I'd, I'd say you got it down, bro. But it feels like ancient. <laughs> it, for real, oh, it is. Some good. Uh, you thinking about buying something, bro? Uh, maybe fresh why not? scarf in a bit. Yeah. Why not? Maybe a scarf for your lady. Uh, oh, might have to, bro. Oh yeah. Or a Lebanese flag over there. Oh yeah. Oh, a Lebanese flag is always. All right, we're gonna stop here, get ourselves a uh, fresh juice. A kifak. Uh, late uh Fresh juices? You guys would like? Yeah. Let's yeah. What, what flavors are you guys thinking? Oh, whatever. I think I'll go for a lemon. I love lemon. Oh, lemon? I'll go for yeah. melon. Lemon, melon. Actually, let's go nan um, lemon. Or wahed uh, melon. Nan lemon. Well, as they say, there's, no, there's nothing better than a smoothie in hot weather. Oh, nothing better. Except Literally. for beer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. If we're getting all mazas going, that's going to one-up oh, it. Yeah. But uh, for now, this left that's left That's a done trick. deal, man. Exactly. That's a done deal. That's a, that's a, that's a for sure done deal, bro. Yeah, guys, so these are the souks. You've, if you've seen my video from last year, I actually explored all around Biblos, and so definitely check that one out. We're going to show you a small little tour while we're going through here, but um, as you can see, there are so many shops. And the nice part is comparing this to being here last year, I feel like more shops are open, and there's a lot more stock of items and more people going through here too so that's a really good sign for tourism that's a good sign for people's businesses if they've got more items and man. they've got more people they're making more money so man this this place really literally represents lebanon like lebanon when you think about lebanon it's like uh, they call habit like uh, people living together mm -hmm. mixed, mixed religions and everything people is the same image of lebanon in one in one in one city like there's all types of religion here. People are living together. People love each other here, man. But that is that is such an amazing place in Lebanon, honestly. Exactly. It's uh, for sure. Biblos, Patron, Juni, they're all tied for my favorite. But some days I like uh, one more than the other. But right now I'm totally feeling Biblos. 
We got our man making some fresh smoothies back there. Oh, yeah, it's the secret sauce to get it going. Shoe is machai. Sleiman. Sleiman? Sharafna. Ana is me mac. Inta min wain. Hon? Syria? Ah, Syria. Damascus or? Homs. Homs. Ah, Homs. North. It's in the north. Kifbul, the north. How do you say that's in the north, right? Bishmel. Bishmel, Syria. Bishmel, Syria? No. Al Wusta. The mid, mm, ah, in the mid, ah, mid, yeah. okay, very nice. And it's uh, Katir Hello in uh, in uh, the city? Hello in Medina. Hello in Medina. The city is eh? beautiful. Ah, yeah, very so. nice. Yeah. Yeah, Keep Bull, I want to visit there soon. But the Ruhla Hunika Ariban. Yeah, yeah. Inshallah. Merci Tir. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Merci Tir, Sleiman. And we've got the melon right there. And uh, Ade? How much? 120? Mm. Alright, see we're getting Arabic lessons today from Fuad. So officially guys now we can say Ahla Wasala Biblos with the squad here. Oh, this place. It just gives you the vibes, guys. It's just one of those moments where I'm going to hold the camera up. You're just going to get a feel for it with no noise. Oh, look at this. Place. Good music. Yeah, see, so guys, as you walk past. I guess you get, Yeah, different sounds coming oh, from different places. That's, we've that's got the. Uh, oh, we've got our man playing here. That's, that's, this musical instrument is called Oud. Oud? Same guy said, uh, that said, I love you to love. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Let's hear him play some tunes here. Oh, he's got the shisha to go too on his break. I love that. Shisha and then he's got the instruments. Lucy's getting a uh, song sung to her right now. You gotta dance to that. I gotta dance. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got him stepping out in the street. Here we go. Let's do this. <laughs> Only in Biblos. Exotic Biblos. <laughs> mm. Oh, I got it. Merci, <laughs> Tir. Shufa Khaye. All right, so we got some nice tunes, guys, going right through the uh, the souks here. Castle's right there. Yeah, I think the restaurant is this one. Fenea? Fenicia. Fenicia? Fenicia. 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 So what did I say? Fenicia. What does that mean? Uh, it's the same definition, but without pronunciation. Ah. Uh, uh. Fenicia. In a rhetorical or comedy way, it's like asking, can I uh, sleep with her? <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, we didn't mean that, guys. It was this one. All right, here we go. Fenicia. Oh, we're going through the palm trees. And we are arriving. For oh, an out outdoor table will do the job. Hi. It's such a vibey place. Mm -hmm. It is. And they have like this, uh, the tables have a have a hole in the middle because they put the... Oh. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. All right. We got ourselves a nice spot right over here. Is this the one? All right. I was gonna fall. Oh, careful, bro. So you guys can see, this is the, uh, the vibe. Super busy for a, uh, what is today, Tuesday? Yeah. Tuesday today, yeah. 
And this place is popping off. Well, as they say, Lebanon never sleeps. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Lebanon never sleeps. Never, never. No matter when, no matter the time of the year, guys. Although it probably slows down a bit in the winter. But uh, actually, yeah, this place I remember hearing about when I was in Biblos last year, but I want to say maybe I couldn't get a reservation or something, or maybe I never made it. I'm not entirely certain, but luckily in the middle of the summer, guys, we were able to uh, walk right up, get ourselves a spot. And Fouad uh, and our friend uh, Will from Australia, Will, if you're watching, thank you, bro. He had recommended. So that validated we got to make it possible this time. So uh, excited to show you guys the menu once uh, we can start the ordering. As we always say, sahtan. When you want to eat, you say sahtan. Sahtan khaye. Khaye. Enta khaye, back. Walla, walla. So guys, we just got set up at the table. They brought up some nice little snacks here. You can't go wrong with sunflower seeds. Oh and yeah, some, they're the best. Uh, some crackers right there too. With salt, mm -hmm. good beer. Can't oh, ask for anything better. Maybe Ara also. Oh, oh well, man. Why not? Jeez, yeah. Fuad knows the good stuff always. Bro, I have a belly for a reason. Exactly, and I'm starting to inherit that thanks to you, bro. <laughs> Lebanese inheritance uh -huh. at its best. Exactly. But yeah, guys, uh, as with pretty much every single restaurant I've been to in Lebanon now, ever since the pandemic, you got your uh, online menu here and uh, it's got the QR code and pretty much every type of Lebanese food you could ever imagine you got it right here we got sabah akhir so we got breakfast food right there cold starters hot starters salads what's bil makle bil me'le fried me'le oh fried okay well that that just stole my heart platters here guys honestly there's so many items burgers pizza sandwiches desserts it's gonna take me a while to figure this out but you want to know usually what i do when i'm uh, overwhelmed with how many delicious lebanese items are on the menu look over at fuad and say uh, bro i think you might have to take over the ordering all right the food was amazing yeah. here yeah what do you oh you've been here before lucy yeah uh, the food was amazing the fat pay was amazing um the mtabal was amazing also so, yeah oh, we're gonna oh. order that Oh, all right. I'm sold. I'm sold. As you guys can hear, we've got some delicious things we're going to be eating real soon here. So. Well, when you visit, guys, when you go to a Lebanese restaurant, there are the basics, then you go advanced. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the basics first. Tabbouleh. Oh, yeah. Hummus. Oh, yeah. Tabbal. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, cheese rolls. Ra'ayat. Oh, yeah. Cheese rolls, as we say in uh, Arabic, daiman. Always. Daiman. And uh, sometimes you can or order some vine leaves that there's no meat with them. Ooh. They're good like as an appetizer you eat, mm -hmm. you know, to warm up a bit. Yeah, a little something, <laughs> something to get going. Yeah, uh, uh, some busik. They're like... Uh, mm. Oh yeah, those are like the... The uh, dough. They almost look like samosas, right? What? Or like, they look like empanadas? They look like empanadas? It's like... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You can say it's like, uh, it looks like a... A half crescent moon. It's really empanadas. Oh, yeah. Uh, it is yeah, inside, like, like yeah. empanadas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is inside minced meat, onions. It is fried. That is delicious. Deal. And by the way, guys, Lebanese food is always about creativity. The more creative you are, the more you're gonna enjoy your food. Believe me. And you're gonna see how creative we get. Wait till you see. Yeah, and uh, French the fries. Comes. Us Lebanese food, we love French fries. Oh, that's a must. Yeah, mix that with hummus. You're good to go. Oh yeah. Yeah. And after that, uh, you decide with yourself, guys, if you wanna order grills or not. Sausages mm. with hummus oh, or like sujuk. Sujuk, sujuk. Yeah. yeah they, they bring grills on a like on a stick here, like that, and it's so good. Oh, 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 oh. It's, it's kind of impressive. Oh, oh wow! Look at this. Yeah, we've got some sort of like a pulley system right here yeah. to uh, take down the umbrellas. So the food has got to come like a wrecking ball. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for that. Yeah, they, they even have these sliders right here, guys. So you'll see when the food comes, they just slide that tray in right there, and uh, you can see they did it right at that table right there. I don't want to. Don't want to impose on their lunch, but uh, you'll see when it comes, guys. All right, Fouad, you gonna tell us what we're ordering here, bro? All right, let's go for tabbouleh. Yeah. Uh, hummus. Uh, you have some pool? Pool, yes. Pool. Uh, French fries. Uh, cheese rolls. Something that hangs from here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's choose three items: sausages, sujo, and uh, uh, chili potatoes. Deal. Taibe. Sujo. Sujo. Uh, what do you want? Pa uh, pomegranate juice or lemon? The, uh, uh, Pomegranate's the go-to. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do pomegranate. Okay. So, uh, uh, cheese rolls fried or grilled? Fried, oh, or fried please. Fried. Really I'll make want. I'll make that decision. All right, four four pieces. Hey. Six. Uh, eight. Six. 
Okay. Six? All right, perfect. Oh, yeah, we'll meet not? in the middle, yeah. Sambusik? <laughs> Platus. Uh, sambusik? You want the sambusik? Hey. And sambusik. No, oh, there's no sambusik. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Khalas, I think that's enough. That's enough? All right, yeah. deal. Do you think oh. tabbal? Do you think tabbal? I'm tabbal. Tabbal? Yeah. Oh, almazo? Ah, eh. Eh. Here? Oh, yeah. 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 Ah, see, that's Mexican. One of them has a Mexican and two other. Two, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Food is in process. We'll see you when it arrives. That's step one arriving. So we've got a couple dipping sauces here, and is this a mini sage? Yeah. And you, do, you just like grill it here. Oh. So is there, is there? Oh, there's a little flame under there, guys. I'm gonna toss you right under there. You want oh, me to do the yeah. opening? You can feel it. Yeah, yeah. Let's get her going, bro. Show yeah. us how it's done. We got zaatar. We got olives and libne. Look, yeah. Look at that's the bread sauce. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Holy guacamole. Wait, wait, wait. That's a little baby sage there. Mm -hmm. Look at that thing. You're gonna zatar? Toss some zatar, yeah, oh, some yeah. in the max star, some ah, zatar. Key, key, yeah, <laughs> some zatar, bro. Oh, that's a nice base in there. You can see the olive oil basically mixing in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, get that loaded up there, bro. Oh, oh, there we go. Hello, hello. That is some good looking chow right there. Wow. You can never go wrong with Saj, bro. Yeah, guys, the more zaatar you put on there, let's put it this way, the better. I'm gonna do it my way, add labneh on the second side, and eat. Oh, all right, the man knows how to do it the right way then. I oh, think yeah. it's okay now, because it's really thin. Oh, yeah, yeah. The thinner, the better. All right, all right, what do we got going on next? Oh, you're starting to get a burn there, bro. No, it's gonna be very nice. Very nice. <laughs> all right, the first one is for you. Well, all? Yep. All right, well, thank you very much. Right. Oh yeah. Second one is for Lucy. We're gonna fold this thing right over like this. And we're, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go try it out. Mm. Alright, I must say Fouad cooked it to a perfected amount. It's warmed it up and it made it a bit chewy. And then the gooiness of that satar. Oh that's great. You warm it, then you add lebni. Mmm. Baby, baby, that is nice. I think I like this zaatar a lot compared to some of the other that I've had, just because it's got the extra amount of olive oil in there, and I'm a huge fan of olive oil. Like I love olive oil so much. Ever since I was in Spain quite a few years ago, and now like honestly, you toss olive oil on anything, it makes it better. Mmm, I'm gonna do mine right now. Yalla. All right. Well, like I told you uh, guys, creativity is the key for Lebanese food. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna add both. Oh yeah, with an olive. Oh, uh, why not? Uh huh. Yep. The more the better. Akid. How'd you say olive, Mac? Uh, that I don't know. Zaytun. Zaytun, like Zaytuna Bay. So it's Olive Bay. Yeah. Ah. I'll probably never forget that one. Burn my hand. But that's all right. That's all for the love of food. Uh huh. Sometimes you gotta do it. It'll make your fingers stronger for the next time. Was it Libne time? Oh, oh. we've got the next one arriving there. Yep. Oh, ala wasala to the echel. Look at that. See, guys, it's a perfect fit. Slides right on in there. And hello, hello. Hummus and is that the tabule and tabal. Yes. Tabal. Yep. Oh yeah. See. Mm -mm -mm. All right, my babe is done. All right. You do this. First, let's add olive. Oh yeah, that's, that's an easy add. I'm gonna do it in an informal and my way. Mm, olive is good. I love it. All right, I stop peeling off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're struggling, bro. That's all right. In every great thing, there's a small struggle. Mm, yeah, exactly. You can see he's putting little pieces on there. Yep. Mm. Do it that way. And Get then lip day time. Oh, there you go. 
That is a Malik's, a uh -huh. Malik's version. Mm -hmm. One bite and it's gone. That's called a warm up. Three seconds to eat it, 30 seconds to make it. Three seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> and how does it compare to the, uh, your grandma's Lebanese food? <laughs> I can't ask him that question. He's got to be loyal to grandma. It's an insult. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, you, know, you know, guys, if you have a Lebanese friend and your Lebanese friend invited you to try his, his or her family's food or his or her grandma's food, never, ever, ever say no. That's the biggest insult ever because let me tell you one thing. Grandma's food is the best in the world because not just about the quality, it's made with love. Yeah, facts. That is facts. Alright guys, so we have some tabbouleh here and we've got a few different types of sauces. See, I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and separate this tabbouleh into uh, three sections here. And that's going to go here. That's going to go there and that's going to go there. So what we did here is now we have three different sauces. We're going to get one right there. Oh yeah, get that thing loaded up. That might be shway too much, but uh, that's all right. Another one. There we go. What is here? And oh, then, the, oh cheese the cheese roll. sticks have arrived oh, yeah. there. Oh, baby, baby. Oh. oh, wait, is this the one that I didn't put any on? I think this one. Yeah, that's oil. I oh, guess. yeah, oil. Very nice. Oh, and then, oh the cheese sticks. Damn. Yeah, I know you guys were waiting for me to try this, but I'm going straight for the cheese sticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Guys, I call this a Lebanese mozzarella stick. And wow, 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 wow. This is always my favorite thing on the menu but it's because my roots. I grew up in Wisconsin, born in Chicago. Grew up in Wisconsin, so much cheese. And so when I have my Jibne, or AKA cheese, I'm a happy man. Mm -mm -mm. You guys gotta try these. Don't let me be the only one eating these uh, delish. Yellow. You know, bro, I'm in a diet, so that's why I'm gonna try it. Yeah, you gotta hot. diet by grabbing one, bro. It's very hot. I, I recently mm. joined the gym in McDonald's. <laughs> I'm joking. I hope my trainer doesn't see that. <laughs> Don't show him. I love it with himself. Oh, there you go. I'm a huge lover of oh, and that's that. what? Ba baba ganoush or is that hummus too? Mm. Baba ganoush. Uh, no, baba ganoush, eh? Katir mm. taibe, eh? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Very crusty. For sure, one of the best mozzarella uh, uh, Lebanese cheese yeah. sticks I've had in Lebanon. The cheese is really good. Really, really good. Oh my god. I double dip, I'm sorry. Oh, go for it. Fouad, I, I would ask him how it is, but it's already gone. <laughs> That's a sign right there. <laughs> yeah. mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. He's enjoying the last flavors. All right. Oh yeah, don't rush it, bro. Enjoy those flavors. Bro. The cheese is amazing, and what is the creativity is for the sesames here. Oh, kid, okay, kid, okay. those sesames oh. are one of a kind, Kaye. Wow. So, guys, now we're gonna try out the uh, different tabbouleh here. Mmm. Oh, that one makes the uh, tabbouleh get a nice zing. This one is the uh, the red sauce. What is the? You know what the red sauce is called? Um, I think maybe that's a uh, pomegranate juice. Maybe that's a possibility. I think so. I think so. And mm. this is lemon and this is olive oil. Oh, lemon, pomegranate, olive oil, okay. I'm pretty sure olive oil will be my favorite. Let's try it. Mmm. So my, my thoughts are they're all really good, but I do love olive oil. It just adds such a nice like uh, texture to the food. But they're all really nice. Like they like the lemon one, it really brings out like the strongest flavors just because you have that sourness in there. But the pomegranate it just fits the Middle Eastern taste of the uh, love the Middle East has for pomegranate juice. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, the beer is arrived. I'm, oh, I'm in yeah. a really good mood right now. Just in time. A Mexican right now. Oh, that's that's how you do it right there. Bring the Mexican right over like that. Jump it, ready to go. Oh, look at that thing. A nice ice cold almaza. Mm-mm, good. And we've got the last rival. Which one is this one called again? Full. Full. These are beans. We're gonna be full after eating full. Oh yeah. This is my favorite dish of all time. I can eat day or night. Mm. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and try out some of the full. Oh, Let's go ahead and toss that right there. Uh, oh, might need it in a second. Oh, that is a hot full on the bottom there. We're gonna load this up guys. Probably not the right way to eat it, but there's no wrong way in Lebanon. So we're gonna grab that. We're also gonna grab some uh, fresh cucumbers there, toss them right in there. And maybe even a couple pickles. And we'll also 
because I like to do things unique, put a little za'atar in there, spice it up a bit. And let's go ahead and try this thing out. Mmm. Wow. That is incredible. I'm not even sure how to explain those flavors because I probably confused myself tossing a little za'atar on there. But let me tell you, it's got a warm base. I need another bite to even judge it. More. You can taste the beans in there. You can taste the uh, olive oil, tomatoes. And then the uh, when you add the pickles in there, it gives it a much stronger taste. But honestly, guys, I'm having a hard time explaining it. It is delicious. How would you explain it, Lucy? We eat it at breakfast usually, and I would explain that it's something satisfying when you eat it. Mm -hmm. Like you have to eat it when you're hungry, of course. And then when you leave the table, you're like, damn. Like the texture is yeah. so unique, and uh, the mix of olive oil and, and uh, lemon is. Ah, uh, that's the flavor that will throw you off because it's hard exactly. to describe it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah, that's it. Mm, I see. And now I'm remembering. Fouad told me that we did have it. We had it in Bashare when we were up at this cafe. And now that I actually took a bite of it, I could remember the flavor. Our buddy Tony, Australian Lebanese guy, really good guy. If you're ever in Bashare, go visit him at the cafe called Cafe Trotoir. 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 Sorry, Tony. I used to know how to say it really well, but the French pronunciation is not as good as it used to be. But yeah, guys, he has really good food up there. Anyway, this meal is incredible. How are you feeling over there? Fouad's giving up way too early for his own good. Oh, bro, I'm just making my strategies. Mm, uh, working on the next uh, custom-made The enter creation. strategy and the exit strategy. Uh, like this. Smart man, or you're probably taking a Almaza break. Case oh, con, yeah. guys. Oh, it feels like drinking with the gods. Yeah, exactly, least, with these bases. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I guess that was a good interview with uh, Julius Caesar. <laughs> exactly, it went pretty well, I'd say. Oh, and the best part of today has arrived. Literally, guys, it's hanging from a pulley system, and we have them. Can we give it a little spin here, or is it going to knock it over? Yeah. A little, oh, there we go, there we go. Hopefully this doesn't knock it over. Look at that, we've got sajouk, potatoes, Lebanese sausages. Chili, chili potatoes. Chili potatoes. But with hummus. Oh, oh Jesus. Uh, now we're speaking my language, bro. Oh, yeah. This is sajouk. That is incredible. Look at that size. Look at that. Mm-mm, good. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna have to start out with the sujuk right here. Grab that one. Is this the mayo right there? Yeah, that's garlic. Gar oh, garlic Boom. mayo? Oh, tom, tom. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I feel like I'm having um, Basterma Mano, bro. Mm. You got the same feeling? Mm. So, so good. All right, we're gonna have to try out, spin it this way a bit here. Is this normal mayo or butter on this side? That's um, lemon. Oh, this is lemon? Oh, no, no this is uh, garlic mayo. Yeah. Garlic mayo, oh, there we go. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, guys, honestly, I didn't have much of an appetite until I started taking a bite. Well, I did have an appetite, and then I ate a bunch of the other food. And then this arrived, and I was like, geez, I don't know how I'm gonna eat anymore. And then I tasted it, and all of a sudden, a new part of my stomach has just opened up that I did not know was there. So, uh, then You can see Fouad's already making a burrito over there. What are you making, a sujuk? Uh, no, no, it's a sausage and potato chili. Oh, yeah. Burrito, yeah, satan, bro. And what do you add with it? Tum kai. Hummus. Oh, hummus, all right, oh, there yeah. we go. I'm team Tum. Yeah, team Tum. Okay. Anna come in. I have an unpopular opinion. I hate hummus. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Guys, cover your ears. She did not say that live. Drop in the comments who hate, hum who hate hummus. <laughs> yeah. Let's call the police. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, guys. We love hummus. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I can't agree. I can't disagree with our other taste buds on the uh, on the tomb stuff, though. Because let me put it this way: tomb on everything in Lebanon makes it better. I but as much. as Fouad says, if uh, if you got a future wife that likes to taste the tomb, you got to marry her, right? Is that how the quote goes? Guys, if your girlfriend loves you with your tomb breath, marry her right now, ASAP. She's a wife. She's a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> 
If you don't know what tum is, you'll know uh, what it is as soon as you get here. It's so good, but uh, you'll taste it later after the meal. Let's put it that way. I guess in relationships you can call tum myth buster. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna share with our buddy down here, Sartan. Oh, sorry. Enjoy. Mm. Oh, you ate that thing in one bite? Oh, there. Here. Come on, don't be dumb. So guys, as you can see, this entire meal for us to eat was 1.5 million. So I'm getting this in a lot of my YouTube videos and it's because it was only last year in my last Lebanon series that I explained the currency crisis. So you're seeing $1,000. This is not actually $1,000. Receipts still show what the government rate is, which is $1 to 1,500 Lebanese Lira. If you pay with a credit card, your card will get charged $1,000. So you pay in cash. When you exchange at the local exchange shops, they give you a rate of about one dollar to thirty thousand. So that comes out to roughly one point five. I'd say like fifty dollars. Yeah. So fifty dollars. It says one thousand on the receipt, but the Lebanese one point five million on a thirty thousand exchange rate is much much less expensive than the thousand it shows you. So you guys that are thinking that it's a thousand dollars, it's not a thousand dollars for that meal. It's fifty U.S. dollars. Guys, we just finished up a delicious meal. How do you guys rate it? I think that's a five for me. Five? Yeah. Five out of five? To be honest, really good food. I love the sejo. Sejo, I think it's one of the best. Oh, the man loves his sejo, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I guess the best price also. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, price yeah. is really good. Yeah, yeah, guys. 50 bucks for us to have that delicious meal. I mean, that's uh, a yeah. high quality meal. So many options. Honestly, that probably could have fed like two or three more people too, so. Exactly. And just before the, the bill arrived, we bet each like each each one of us bet how much it will cost. And we all said like two million, five hundred, two million, two hundred. So yeah, it was one million five hundred. So another yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good, so good. So now we're cruising through Biblo souks. It's so wow. quiet right now. It's calm. Especially with how many people here. You'd think the uh, souks would be loud, but it's nice. Might have to get some new bracelets or something. Oh, I like this one, the airplane right there. Yep. It's a nice little vibe. Mm, tempting. This is a funny one. What, what do we got there? You're the hash of my heart. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just burn me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I guess we got Alex here, who is from Montreal, Canada, and he's getting married on Friday. So we're going to give him a big uh, mabruk. Mabruk. It means congratulations. <laughs> mabruk. Yep, right here in the souk. So it's nice to meet you. Yes. And as you guys can see, we, we decided we're going to wear the same clothes today. Exactly. So, yeah, and we picked the best ones because you can always see the sweat from us today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Guys, so I just made a stop right here in the souks. I didn't film it actually because I wasn't planning on buying shoes, but my shoes started to fall apart. So I came to see my buddy Rami here. Thank you for us. Yeah, merci you to you, Chaye. And I uh, got these fresh shoes right there, guys. Paid uh, 550k, which comes out to five times three, 18. So about 20 US dollars. And uh, now we're feeling fresh walking through the souks. Merci to you, guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye. You Thank you. See you guys. Bye. -bye. Bye. So yeah guys, that's the nice part about the souks. You can find anything you need here. Oh, and it's nice wearing a new pair of shoes because you can feel every step. You gotta break these shoes in and uh, yeah. So guys, this is the uh, downtown area. Kifak. Fuck. This is the uh, downtown area. As you can see up here, actually, it turns into a stage and this place parties at night. This one's uh, La Paz and it all kind of like attaches once they get all these tables out and up here, right up there, they have a couple other like restaurants and bars that people rage at. Let's put it this way. If you're in the souks, you can hear them from like half a mile away. Oh, oh yeah, Captain Hat for Fufu. Is there like a, a shumi cap? cap? Oh, and a Lebanese cap? Oh. Oh, Lebanon fedora? Let's see how that looks. Should we try it on here? How do, I, how do I look with the uh, Lebanese fedora? Captain Lebanon. It's my, on head, the other side. my head's a little big, though. Validated. Other side? No, no, no. It's this side, bro. Yeah, I told you on the other side. You're this way. Yeah. I don't know if the fedora. I don't know. My head's a little big, though, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's too up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Messy. Oh, all right. Well, where to, Fuad? All roads lead to Rome. Deal. All right, guys, and we just made it back to the FJ. Whew, it is hot. 